Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can do the comparison between the different word clouds or I would say for example in the past videos I have shown you the speech of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi of 2017 then how you can really compare the 2014 speech with 2017 to really understand how the things have been and uh, the, how the things have been said in 2014 as compared to 2017 and then we will see how to see uh, uh, how to create a common uh, word cloud based on 2014 and 2017 speech that means the the similar words that have been said in those two different speeches all right so before I move ahead, just a quick information that if you want to learn ClickView, then you can visit my channel Data and Tools. And if you are interested in learning Tableau related stuff, then you can visit my channel BI and Programming Videos, where I am currently based the currently uploading the Tableau related tutorials. All right, uh, let me just show you the speeches, and the speech is here that PMO the first Independence Day speech and i got it from the first post so i just did the google like uh emo the first independence day first independence day speech i think it will should give me something all right uh first independence day speech you get a couple of options but at that time i got the option first independence day speech i got the option of uh, first post i just copied the paste and pasted it in the text file over here so this is a very very big speech i would say a lot of words that have been said and that's really good for us as a you know text analytics person because we really want a lot of words and uh, try to understand the mood of the government so this is the first independence day speech and this is the 2017 which as compared to the very concise very precise speech that he that he gave and just a background of it that uh, one of the feedback he got from the people of india that uh, he should really give the uh, speech in limited time but not like a two-hour speech but should conclude its speech in maybe in just one hour or 45 minutes so that's why he changed the pattern where right now the speech as you can see is very concise and very short as compared to the first speech which you can see a very long speech it would take almost I think two hours to complete it so that's good that uh, he is hearing the feedback and what now we want to do is compare these two speeches and see it in action. So the first thing that we need to do is import the library text mining. So uh, control enter and then create a corpus. So this is a different command as compared to the previous videos which you would have seen earlier where we would have used the V corpus uh, vector source corpus. But here we are specifying the directory source because we want to get both the files that are present over here so that's the directory that i have and if i press ctrl enter i get the document and then the summary will show me the two speeches the first speech the second speech and then we can go ahead and apply the similar commands that we have applied earlier to clean the data so first of all tm underscore map function from text mining package to convert the values in lowercase so control enter then remove numbers then remove punctuations from the text then remove white space stop words like i the uh, he or things like that control enter and then stamming the document so things like uh, uh, you know winning winner win all of those like different words but pretty much the same meaning so that will be converted into a win just one word so that's that's i think more meaningful for when you are doing the text analytics all right um after that uh, the simple operation to import the library word cloud so first of all let's create a word cloud and i will give you a word of caution that uh, if you have a lot of words uh, like 
we have seen in the first speech of Prime Minister Modi that he has uh, spoken a lot uh, in, in his first speech. And if you are saying like our previous command that just minimum frequency is one, then it will take a lot of time. It took me a lot of time to be honest. So that's why I got to know. So I'm just saying at least 10 words, or minimum frequency is 10 words so that it takes less time and I'm able to run it. So that's the uh, speech. That's the words from uh, both the speeches. And then, uh, so on a random basis, there is nothing which has been applied, but it's just based on the frequency. And then the word cloud, the normal word cloud, which has colors and stuff like that. So if you are able, if you are doing that, then it will, that's how, you know, it is coming. And from previous video, you are aware how you can really change colors, what random orders and things like that. Now the interesting thing is uh, creating the comparison cloud and in just a couple of steps you will be able to do it. The first sp uh, step is is to create a term document matrix. So it's basically you know uh, list down in a matrix structure on the rows it uh, lists down the terms and on the columns it uh, lists uh, it basically shows the document. So speech one, speech two, speech three you can consider like columns and terms like uh, country will India and that basically matrix structure says in which speech those words have been appeared and based on that you know that matrix you can really compare it so the first thing is uh, term document matrix that we need to create based on the clean corpus that we have it over here and let me press control enter and then we need to create the matrix structure because that is what it is required to create the commonality uh, uh, cloud or the comparison cloud so control enter just we are using s dot matrix to convert this particular object from tdm document to a specific matrix control enter then we just need to give the document uh, name as the one that we want to specify the 2014 speech and 2017 speech so control enter so names have been given after that easily you can write the function comparison dot cloud which is from the library word cloud where you need to specify the matrix the speech term matrix that you created over here with the help of as dot matrix and then maximum words you are specifying is 100 and random order is equals to false all right, so let's go ahead and create it. So here you have the 2014 speech. That's the column name you have given. And that's the 2017 speech. So yeah, that looks familiar because in 2017 speech, as we have seen earlier, there were a lot of discussion on the bill, land and state, goods, GST, goods and services tax, stuff like that. And as compared to in 2000 speech, which was his first speech, he talked more on the general terms like uh, country, India, you know, take, world, and want, feel, countryman, member, youth. So it's like more and more very general uh, speech he has given. And as compared to the 2017 speech, where he's very, very specific that he introduced uh, land bill or GST and and basically reforms and things like that so that that basically shows us how the uh, speech have been changed from 2014 to 2017 to get much better or a uh, better idea then you can change it to 200 and press control enter you will get a uh, uh, little bit more words as compared to the previous one and you can see you can further you know go deep down and really see what what he has said so forward countryman resolve change shoulder youngstown poverty and here in this case poor build subsidy reform kerosene implement explain build and is, is coming directly from those earlier one so that's basically I wanted to show you 2014 and 2017 speech, but you can do much more. So you can actually compare the 2014, 15, 16 and 17 speech. 
so that you can take as a assignment to you about uh, getting the those speeches or any other document of your interest that has uh, some series of events like so that you can really compare to see the difference how they have been changed over a period of time and with the help of that uh, you can create the comparison cloud and better understand it now the next thing is uh, we uh, we want to create the commonality cloud cloud or the word cloud what that is is basically the common words the most frequently told common words from both the speeches so this entire piece is done by the function itself by just specifying the same parameter as compare as uh, we have specified here in the comparison cloud and uh, just the function name is changing from comparison cloud to common entity cloud and you can just simply press control enter it takes of minutes a uh, couple of seconds i would say and then here are the common words from both the speeches so govern work today make india so that's like make in india initiative that he had so he he is uh, taking the initiative name again and again good work good work import parliament independence develop village all of those words as you can see as it has been highlighted you know he has said a lot and it basically says uh, his focus areas uh, in in coming days as per his uh, slogan from the uh, rallies that he that he had given prior to coming into the power about maximum government and minimum governance something like that so that's what i'm i'm getting it from here the govern is something he is more interested in doing the governance than you know really putting the focus on government so governance is a key so that's what he has said in pretty much both the speech speeches so that's how you can get an idea about uh, over a period of time uh, where the focus has been of our leaders and how we can really get an idea with the help of text analytics to really you know uh, create a word cloud and understand their focus areas uh, that has not changed over a period of time so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video and in the next video we will see how we can really automate this entire features of word cloud into the shiny application so that's really an interesting one because then what you just need to do is uh, upload your files and create the word clouds and no need to do all of these codings and everything because that's pretty much automated so stay tuned for that and i'll meet you in the video to talk about it